Okay, so we are into our third lesson of the semester. Ah, excuse me, I just took a sip of drink as I had a pretzel a minute ago and my throat was a little dry. And today we talk a lot about parallel lines. Okay, that's, that's the focus of our attention that we're going to have going on today. But remember, it's all about geometry and geometry means measuring the world and shapes and patterns and everything else that's going on and it, it really is when you learn to see mathematically a wondrous and awesome incredible world one day we'll watch a couple of videos on that all right so what are we going to cover today well <clears throat> from a weekly perspective we're going to have two lessons and the quiz we have a lesson today we have a lesson a little shorter lesson on um the next second lesson of the week and then we will also take a quiz after the second lesson of the week. It'll be our first quiz of the year, and it'll get you a really good feeling for how you're doing so far. Okay? As always, we begin with some review questions. <clears throat> and then we're going to spend a lot of time talking about parallel lines cut by a transversal. And there are three different techniques to doing this. Two of them involve just like a numerical shapes technique. Um, and then there's one that involves some very specific math jargon. Okay? And we're also then going to apply some algebra to what it is we're going over and learning. So without any further ado, let's do a little bit of review. Okay, name three line segments that include F, three rays that begin at B, and name three lines. Stop and start time. Go ahead. Okay, so three segments that include F. I've got DF, Right? And notice, very important, the, se the segment notation on the top of D and F. The segment that goes from D to F, <clears throat> the segment that goes from F to E, and the segment that goes from F to C or C to F. Next, name three rays that begin at B. Well, I've got BE, I've got BD, and I've got BC. I could have also included BA on that as well. Name three lines. Notice the line segment on top of the lines, the ray segment on top of the rays, and the segment symbol on top of the segment. That's the layer or level of specificity that's very important for us to have throughout this course. Okay. Um, three lines would be AC, right? That's the horizontal one. And then AF down and to the right, and BE also down and to the right. Sure looks like AF is parallel to BE there. I'm not sure, but it does look like it. Okay, these two questions. Go ahead, stop and start. Okay, the measure of an acute angle is a number N such that N is between 0 and 90. It does not include 90. 90 is a right angle, and it does not include a 0 degree angle. So it is choice D. Two segments are congruent if they have the same length. That's what congruent means. Same size and shape. Okay. Three more for you to do. Very strange. They say one and one and then nothing over there, but go ahead. Handle those three. Okay, a portion of a line that has one endpoint and extends indefinitely in one direction is called a ray. If the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees, then they are called complementary. Remember, C comes before S, so complementary means 90, supplementary means 180. As C comes before S and 90 comes before 180, C complementary means two angles add up to 90, S supplementary two angles add up to 180. And this next situation is a picture of complementary. We know the angle on the right-hand side of the vertical line is a right angle. So that means the angle on the left-hand side is also a right angle, which means x plus 54 plus 5x is going to add up to 90. I see a opportunity to combine like terms, same side, same operation. That's 6x plus 54 is 90. Next, I, add, I subtract 54 from both sides, or add negative 54, which is honestly how I like to look at it. Um, 6x is, and why in the world did I write 
54 there. That should not be 54. Uh, that should be 36. And that would mean that x would equal 6. Okay, so you see that? Subtracting the 54, I get 36. Dividing by 6, I get 6. So I will continue from this slide. Okay, A and B are vertical angles, vertical angles being that the lines intersect and they're the angles across from each other. Remember, if they're next to each other or adjacent to each other, then they would add up to 180. If they're across from each other, then they're going to be congruent to each other. So that means that 7x minus 11 is 2x plus 34. This is clearly an opposite side oper opposite operation situation. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and I'm also going to end up adding 11, and I want to fit everything on the page, so I did it all on one line. Um, that would give me 5x is on the left, 45 on the right. Glad I didn't mess that one up. Dividing by 5, x is equal to 9, and that's the answer to part A. Now, for the measure of angle A, it's going to be 7 times that 9, right? Because 7x means 7 times x, and then minus 11. So the measure of angle A is 7 times 9 minus 11, which is... 52. Um, and then the measure of angle B is going to be 2 times 9, which is 18, plus 34, which is also 52. And I find that uplifting that they're both 52 because they are vertical angles and they are supposed to work out to be equal to each other. Okay, one last set of review problems, and that involves, I don't know why this is doing this, but that involves two supplementary angles. So go ahead, handle these two. We'll do stop and start in a moment. I'll get another sip of my drink. All right, we'll get started in a second. I don't know if you're like me, but I like this drink called BAI, but I think it's like too sweet, unless I cut it with water. So I add some ice, I add some water, add some BAI. It should be pretty healthy for you. It's got a lot of anti-cancer stuff in it. And, uh, that's what I drink when I'm doing this, so my throat doesn't get sore. All right, these are supplementary angles, which means together they add up to 180 degrees. They make a half a circle. So 5n plus 10 plus 4n minus 1 is 180. Doing a little same side, same operation here, combining like terms. I get 9n plus 9 is 180, minus 9 from both sides, and I get 9n is 171. Dividing by 9, n is 19. <coughs> okay? On the other side of the problem, again, they add up to 180. So 2n plus 12 plus 3n plus 3 is 180. Same side, same operation. 5n plus 15 is 180. Minus the 15, 5n is 165. Dividing by 5. And one of my favorite numbers, n is 33. Okay. So that's the review of the material that we've done so far. And if you were able to get all of those questions right, it's a very strong indicator that you're doing well. Um, there's one other thing I want to just mention real quick before we go further. Um, I spoke the other day in a homework video about how important it was to check over your work and assess it and see if you're doing it right or wrong, reflect upon your efforts. Um, every single time that I give a homework, I also include a video that goes over not only the correct answers to the homework, but you know how to do it. So it may not be perfect for every student. It may not answer every student's questions, but it does address more than just looking at an answer sheet. So as we have reviewed here at the start of class, also make sure you're doing your review by looking at the answers to your homework. Don't just do the homework to get credit for it being done for participation points and credit being done for attendance points. You also wanna make sure that you're actually doing it correctly. That way, when quizzes, like you'll have at the end of this week, and tests, which will probably be in like another, I guess, almost three weeks from today, you'll be able to say to yourself, oh, I'm, I'm really comfortable going into this. You'll be competent and you'll be uh, expecting to do really well. All right, this is the end of this video. On to the new stuff after this.